Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak, and in this video I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop CC. I'm going to talk about the Isolate Layers feature. Now, if you are in graphic design or user interface design, or web design, you will be very happy for this new feature because it will save you a lot of time and effort. Let's say you have a website design like this one, where you have so many layers. So you can see I have hundreds or maybe even thousands of layers here. And to be able to find what I'm looking for, I usually use the move tool and uh, using the auto select feature, but I use it with a keyboard shortcut, holding down command or control, and if I, uh, the auto select is set to layer, I can just click on a layer and then it will find it in the layers panel. That's great. I can even combine that with shift. So command or control shift click on another one that selects the other layer as well. Then the third and fourth. So I have all these four images selected here. Let me just zoom a little bit closer so you can see them. So these are the layers that I would like to work with. But at the moment, it's still a little bit confusing that what's happening here and they are under uh, so many layer groups and it's difficult to see what's happening with them. So without changing other things around them, what I would like to do is just concentrating on these layers to work with them. Now for this, you can use this amazing new feature called Isolate Layers, which you will find under the Select menu and there is Isolate Layers. You can even set up a custom keyboard shortcut for it. That's something I will definitely do because in the future I'm going to use this a lot. And once I selected it, it creates a filtering in the layers panel using uh, the filtering option that we have since CS6. Now in CC, we have this new option called selected. And we can always turn this off and go back to the uh, layers to see everything once again. But let me just go back once more to isolate these layers. And what I can see here is that I used the same mask, uh, layer mask, for all of these layers, instead of using only one mask uh, for all four of them together. So now, because I have only these layers visible, it's much easier to do that. I'm going to put them in a group. So I selected all four of them create a group by pressing command or control G and then drag this mask, one of the masks onto the group. Then I can even lock it and then I can right click on the others and delete them. So I'm going to delete these layer masks and it's enough to just have that one on the top. And then if I turn off the filtering, I will go back and now you can see that we actually have everything the same way as it was, but now these layers are inside a group. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. Even the clipped layers and adjustment layers are again visible and they stayed where they were, um, which I didn't see when I was in the isolation mode. So Photoshop really keeps track of where these layers were and combine it with the changes that you make while you are inside the isolation. You can do lots of things with this. For example, again, I command click on this image here. And if I want to go into isolation, I can now just simply turn it on for the selected. So I turn it on because that is selected here as the type of uh, filtering. This layer is already isolated from the surroundings and I can move it around or once again I can uh, unlink the mask for example and then move the image inside uh, this rectangle. And when I'm ready I can just turn off the filtering or the isolation and go back to work with all my layers. I just would like to mention something that I also show more uh, thoroughly in another video that this isolation mode also works with paths. So for example, here we have several paths, even this one in the background. And if I want to concentrate on one of these, I can just simply double click on that to automatically enter this isolation mode. So it works even faster with the shape layers or paths. So that's all what I wanted to show you in this video. But if you are interested about the other new features of Adobe Photoshop CC, make sure you check out all the other videos here on PSD Touch Plus. Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time.